Oh boy, a brand new DC Universe TV series. Yes, Doom Patrol. And its pilot episode is now available. And I watched it. Well, you know, I figured the episode in the Titan series was the actual pilot episode. But no, no, this one gives more of their backstory and how they all came together. Yeah, well, mostly it deals with uh, Robot Man, but through him, we see these characters are, well, I guess also through the eyes of Mr. Nobody, who is your narrator of the show. Yeah. Uh, they're taking more from the Grant Morrison version of Doom Patrol, which, yeah, what are you going to do? It, it was good or interesting. I mean, the Doom Patrol was always weird. And that was uh, the best-selling point about it. Uh, but uh, And this is no different. And uh, a lot of it is going f for dark humor and, and the like in it. Uh, Robot Man's fine. Uh, the, the show, by the way, is not for kids. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, yeah, there's some nudity in there. Uh, you never thought you'd see Robot Man's butt, but uh, you see Robot Man's butt. Anyway... So uh, it introduced them, and that's all fine. It's, it's, it's good that each one gets their little origin story for them. How, well, not all of them, I don't think. But uh, Robot Man, Elasta Woman, and Negative Man, they're all... Oh, and Mr. Nobody as well. Uh, so they, you get to see how they came to be. Now, I don't know if they're going to follow the Grant Morrison story about how this really happened. <laughs> so uh, I won't spoil it, because uh, who knows? They might not cover it that way. Uh, but anyway, so they they all come in and they all have their stories, and uh, it works well. And then the ending kind of just fizzles. Uh, and there's an even a point where it's clear that they needed a few more minutes before they ended the show or something. I don't know why, but it's like at the end, at one point uh, after they all come together and Robot Man has to deal with having become Robot Man, and they they, they take you through that. And, um, and eventually he uh, discovers his daughter still alive. All that stuff setting up for something later, of course. But uh, it, the chief, Niles Calder, uh, takes a trip abroad for whatever reason. We don't know. Uh, but he does, and the rest of them are supposed to stay in the house where it's safe and uh, far from prying eyes and whatnot. But uh, Crazy Jane decides, hey, we, uh, let's go to town and have fun or what have you. And she manages to coax them all into doing it. They do. Things are okay for a while, and then, ah, oh boy, everything falls apart. And uh, Elasta Woman uh, gets upset at uh, some woman's explaining how much her father was a fan of her movies when she was an actress. And uh, apparently says that he believed she did porn. <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, uh, she loses control, and then she just starts to melt and turns into a giant blob. And uh, basically ends up attacking the town. And a robot man has to show up and save the day. Meanwhile, Negative Man loses control as well. Uh, and uh, Crazy Jane's not much help. And uh, But Robot Man has to uh, bring the situation under control. And they go back home. And then Niles uh, returns. And he's all mad at them. And he says, you don't understand. You, uh, there's forces out there. There are enemies that will come looking for you. And... Uh, Robot Man decides, well, we'll just face him here. Well, and uh, Niles says, no, it's best for us to leave. And so they they all agree to leave. They get on the bus and they're leaving. And Robot Man stays behind. He or rather, he hit. He's heading to the town. And then all of a sudden, Crazy Jane says, no, nah, let's go help Robot Man. And they turn around and go and help it. So the whole big setup for them to go with Niles instead of staying with Robot Man was for nothing because <laughs> well, about two minutes later they're, they're back in town and they were there they confront mr nobody well mr nobody talks with niles while they confront uh i guess a manifestation of mr nobody a farting jackass a literal farting jackass that farts his tagline message of you know what is it uh, the mind's the limit or something along those lines and oh that's where it ends you're on the cliffhanger and whatnot but Ah, oh, boy, as some of this stuff, uh, it, it's too cheesy uh, and going too far to be weird and silly. And I, I, I don't know, it, but, this, but there were elements of it that was pretty cool. So 
It's not a show that ends it for me all, right off the bat. I want to see more. Cyborg, whom they've shown in the advertisements, is not here. And that's a strange thing. I'm not sure why Cyborg is there, since he's kind of repetitive of what uh, Robot Man's going through. But Plus, Cyborg was never a member of the team. Beast Boy was, but he went off with the Titans, which they addressed in the Titans TV show. So... I would have thought Cyborg would be on Titans. <laughs> Maybe he'll cross over. I, I don't know, but that's where he originally was. Now, in the new uh, uh, form of, of DC Comics, Cyborg is pretty much uh, ensconced in the Justice League and certainly was in the movie version and all that. So, I'm not sure why or what they're, where they're going with Cyborg here, uh, especially since it's kind of repetitive of Robot Man. So... Um, I'm hoping that it doesn't mean Robot Man is only there for a little while and Cyborg takes his place. I don't <laughs> but um, I don't see why. I mean, how, how hard would it be for uh, Brendan Fraser to literally phone his lines in? <laughs> I'm assuming it's not him in the suit. Come on. Uh, so, anyway. Uh, so, this one is a strong three out of five stars. I'm going with at this point. Uh, there was a few things I uh, kind of troubled me and worried about, but uh, uh, the elements of it are there for a, a pretty fun, good series. And um, could surprise me and be even better than that. So we'll have to wait and see what the other uh, other shows show. Uh, if it goes downhill, well, you know how that goes. Titans was a series that showed potential and had great moments, but a lot of that was just constantly reminding you of, gee, I wish we had a Batman show because the Robin scenes were the best ones. Uh, but so uh, Doom Patrol uh, needs to avoid that if they can in order to justify someone paying the amount <laughs> to subscribe to this service. Right now, I can't really say that it warrants that. I've watched a few of the episodes of the new cartoon, and I, it's, it's not for me. But uh, Titans, like I said, was interesting, so potential, but I don't think it justified paying the subscription, and I couldn't recommend it for that. And this one is only one episode in. Not quite there for me to say, oh, man, you got to sign up for this. Really looking forward to Swamp Thing and hope that pu pulls it off. But Swamp Thing and Doom Patrol can come out of that vein of the weird stuff, but you can't just be a show and say, look, we're weird. We're weird because we're saying we're weird. That's not going to cut it. If it can really achieve the surrealism and charm of those stories, uh, then they really got something. And we'll see if they can do it. I see the potential there. I do. But we'll see going further. So it is just one episode, so it's not fair to make a final judgment here on it. But... Um, it's kind of so-so at this point. All right, thank you for watching and listening. Say, why not like and subscribe and check out that link description below. That'll take you to my many stores that have plenty of goodies for you. Yes, you. Bye-bye.